The state of Utah is going to great lengths to keep us up to date on the water emergency this year. And today that meant learning what happens when Utah's rivers just don't have enough water to go around. Fox 13's Max Roth joins us with a look. Max. Yeah, Kelly and Bob, you know, water rights are ridiculously complicated, but when we're in a severe drought, well, things have to start getting simpler. There's less water. So in a walkthrough with the state engineer today, we learned the basics. Water rights are usually all about who got there first, but when the situation gets dire, that can change. For this river, let's say the first user was a farmer. Then a town incorporated and their system got rights. We'll say they are first class rights holders, first dibs. Someone then built a country club outside of town a few years later. They're second in line. And now a city built up further downstream claimed a share. They have third class rights. Let's say there's also a reservoir downstream. That gets filled up with what's left after everyone else gets their share. Everything over 100% of the so-called direct flow water rights on the river. In a normal year, the river should provide a lot more water than various interests own in those rights. But not this year. The state engineer outlined the situation on four sections of Utah rivers. 2019, all four of these systems were diverting to storage. In 2020, just two of the systems, the Upper Duchesne and the Middle Bear, were diverting water into storage. And in 2021, none of the systems as of this date um, are that we've actually cut into direct flow rights. The numbers in 2019, the Middle Bear flowed at 366% of water rights claimed, the Upper Duchesne 487%, the Upper Provo 356, the Upper Severe 287. Reservoirs got lots of water. In 2020, the Upper Provo did not have enough to satisfy all water rights, and the Upper Severe was far below that mark. And this year, every one of these four important rivers way below the bare minimum to meet the rights owned by stakeholders. On the Upper Severe right Right now, only first-class rights are getting water, and they are only getting 34% of their usual allocation. If things get really dire, the governor can declare a water shortage emergency, though, and that will change those priorities. It says water for drinking, sanitation, and firefighting get priority. If there's some left, agriculture gets it. So all of those numbers we showed are for the situation in Utah as of this week. Normally, rivers are flowing high at this time of year, and the priority of all those rights don't factor in until later in the summer if they even have to consider any rationing at all. But that's already happening now. Live in studio, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.